Good evening. Just gonna go see how to set this all up, but it looks slightly wonky. I'm just moving it a little bit. Better. I can see a few of you are joining me now. Hello, Dawn. Hi, Valerie. Thank you for joining me. Do you know you do a little setup, don't you? And it all looks wonky. It all looks straight, and then uh, you come live, and it looks wonky again. So, I'm just doing a little bit of shuffling. <laughs> Hi, Mary! Oh, that'll do. We're all right. As long as you can see what I'm doing, it's going to work. Hope you're all right, Mary, and you've got your light sorted. Hi, Anne. Hi, Jan. We'll just wait for a few more to join us and then we will get cracking. A lot of this one I've had to um, pre-prep. You'll see why I want to get into it. Hello, Lisa Robson. I was going to say, hello. Have we got a new language? <laughs> hello. Oh, bless you. Right, let's move this out of the way. And... We'll get going. So, a bit different this evening. Um, I know we do quite a few cards, but uh, this is something that's nice for a... Well, to be honest, it can be for anybody. It, it could be a nice gift for Mother's Day. It could be just a gift in general. I think it would be lovely for a child in a child's room because it's not too bright. The light, I've left these loose so you can see the lights. The lights I'm using... Are these, um, see with this little switch, they're a bit like floral lights. Oh, but I know a lot of the shopping channels, I've seen them on Create and Craft. And they're only a little tiny right there. So obviously they slot into there. And then if I turn my light off one moment, and we go dark. And there you go. I'm just going to wait for it to catch up. Oh, we're so behind. We're really behind. Oh, sorry, I don't put a bottom on this one. But you can, hi, Sarah. But you can see the um, the effect. I mean, you know, in a little girl's room at night, or just I think on a couple in the fireplace, or even you could put them. Um, you could have them outside in the summer. Lots of different scope for these, and it's so quick and easy to make. Right, we're going dark again. While I turn, I'm just going to put my light back on. There we go. So we're very behind in. This. Oh, hi, Anne. I know it is pretty, isn't it? We need something to brighten us up. Okay, so let's get started. So the basis of this really is only with um, two main sets of dies. So we're using the Slimline Honeycomb Frame. Love this one. Absolutely love it because it's great for the bees. I know the bees have got a little bit of honeycomb behind, but this is a solid honeycomb. It can add words, um, it leaves it open for an aperture, lots of scope with this. When you get your slimline dies off Lisa, don't think that they are just for slimline cards. They're not. Um, they adapt and they work on lots of different types of shape cards. Okay, it's just about playing and thinking, out, as I said before, thinking outside the box. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side. I'm going to show you how to do this because um, I know you may look and think, well, how have you got, have you got it so big? And this is the sort of, um, this is what started me on this because it was, um, I am going to use this for an aperture um, in a card, um, but I just wanted to try and see if I could get it, obviously, to fill a sheet rather than just the slimline and it works beautifully okay so 
I've cut the first, I've done the first one um, and we've just used an A4. I've done it all on A4 to make it nice and simple. Hi Lisa, hi Natalia. Most of us have A4 card and I find it's easier, it's, it makes it easier for you to work with. So basically I've gone through the die cut machine and cut the one, okay, to get us started. Right, I'm going to fetch my plates up now. Please excuse my plates, they are well loved and quite ugly, as you will see. <laughs> But that's what they, we buy them for. Okay. I'm going to bring back this in. Okay. So, as you see, you have your app, you have your die cut. It's cut out there. Okay. And then we're going to stick another one. We're going to stick this on top so that it overlaps perfectly. Now, I found it does fit and it matches very, very easily. So, I've put... if you go like that if you can see can you see what i'm doing so i'm just waiting for it to catch up and i put a little bit of tape on to stick it down now you can do it this way or you can do it underneath but i find it doesn't cut as much i like to you know do it as quickly as possible so there's a little bit of tape so as you can see that's stuck down and we're going to use that so i'm going to I don't normally die cut during the lives because I know it can be a bit noisy. You know how to die cut, but I needed to show you so you get this right. If you do go very slightly offline, really don't concern yourself because it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go through now. Excuse my little die cutting machine. We're using the cut and boss this evening. Um, you'll see I've got some pens here. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of colouring on the vellum to get a bit of... Uh, colour I think so it's a bit different right so oh come on I do love the electric die cutting machines I have to admit let me just take that through so do excuse the noise so and with Lisa's dies um I mean look look pop pop straight away fabulous then what I'll do I'll just remove we remove that, remove the tape. Don't worry, because if this is just um, like a washi tape, it's a repositionable. And with these, look at that. They release better than any other dyes that I have ever had. And, I, and I, you know, it takes a lot for me to say that I have a lot of dyes. So as you can see, it's bigger. Then don't waste these. You will end up with a lot of these, these little honeycomb shapes. We can do flowers with them and all sorts. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scoop these up into my hand and um, I'm going to make some flour. I've got lots of ideas with these also I think they'll work well with the with the bees as you can see I've got quite a lot so I'm going to put those on one side so basically as you can see now we've got now that will probably go I reckon that size if you cut there I think that would go really nice probably on a 5b7 or or that way or you could even you could even hey I've got another yes do an a foot do an a and fold over it's all right this is just happening as i'm working <laughs> this is how my little mind works so oh, we've got a few more and as you'll notice as well look how they pop out the die cuts so easy i don't even have to use um poker tool or anything they're just they've stayed in there that's only because the tape look they drop out on their own now what dies do that because i tell you not many of mine do so i'm not going to go through again because you basically have seen how it works then all you would do again is go over you, it, it it does line up so easily and if you look your edge will line up and your diamonds will look full there like i said if it's slightly off and it, you can, one of mine is you can hardly see it at all so basically now you can keep going now if you've got bigger longer card you can make it longer the reason i've stuck with a4 is because i think it's a it's a card size that most of us have available and it makes it easier and quicker for you and then you could do lots of these and have them all ready um, and do them in lots of different colors you could even do male versions i mean that you know there's, there's so much scope there now I'm just going to put this out the way and I'm going to make something with that uh, another time because that's got my uh, my little cogs working so I'll put that out the way. Right, as I say I have done some pre-prep with this only because um, the sticking process I'm waiting for glues to dry. So this was the A4 um, sheet and I've gone right across and I've tried to match my edges up approximately, but it doesn't matter if they're not. Also, on my first version, um, I wasn't 
100% straight but I'll show you a way around that as well again it doesn't matter I want you know I don't want you to feel stressed about it and and think it's difficult it's not now I my vellum I'm just going to pull um, a sheet out here I'm sure we all have in our stash somewhere vellum now this vellum is is a very lightweight I do have some quite heavyweight vellum, which I feel will probably be better for this. But of course, um, like when you want to use something, I can't find it in my stash. It's somewhere. Also, I was thinking, you know, you can get your um, coloured vellums. Thank you, Valerie. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Um, because you can get the coloured ones, you know, your pastel, any of those would work for this beautifully as well. And if we're not using the bees, I'm thinking floral you know i'm thinking you could go on and on and if you've got sort of nieces nephews grandchildren another idea is make make a few up um if you don't want to do the lights give them the light separately put the bottom on there and fill it with easter eggs there's you, you can just go on and on um and i want it to that's what i want the dice to do for you and that's why lisa releases them so that we're giving you lots of ideas hi sandy you've got your bee dye honestly you will not regret the bee dye it is it's fabulous because it just you can use it for so many different things and i i can't resist just clipping the bees out i just love them i love them to pieces so again we're using a4 because i'm trying to keep th this is the simplest way of doing it like like i say think out the box go a bit further yourself this is just how i did this one so a4 piece of vellum like mine is thin what the heavy way i would say the better but use whatever you have in your stash you could go for acetate for this as well you could do it with acetate um because these lights these lights are sort of a clear wire you wouldn't really like a silver you wouldn't really see it very much so it would work with acetate or anything really packaging anything transparent but i think vellum has a pretty look about it another before i do put it together another idea i had as well using any of your other lisa dyes with your flowers or your bees before i stick it together you could actually place the shape behind uh, but you'd I would make sure it was all black so a sil silhouette so if you can sort of get the sort of get the idea um, if it was all black and then lit up um, you would have silhouettes behind so you could have flowers you could have um, you could have your poppies and um, these slim I don't have it but the slimline dye with the um, the floor the flower that's beautiful that would work as well now, what I did with this, this is where I've, I've pre-done bits. I've stuck down the vellum and then I stuck something heavy on top because vellum, I think vellum needs a little bit of a heavy stick. But I've used the uh, book, by, book binding glue, works perfectly. Then what I did, I've actually left it rolling with um, a rubber band round just to get the curl and it just makes it easier to stick. Now, you can go around um, a jar, a bottle. Obviously, you know, there's lots of different ways of doing this, but this is just my preferred way. So, again, we're going to go for the uh, book binding glue. We've used a full A4 because I, I like the size of this. So, and I know when Lisa uses this, you, you don't need, um, sometimes I, because I'm used to using other glues, I tend to go a little bit over the top with this. Don't, you hardly need any. Um, it's a great glue. Hi, Tina. Hope you're well, my love. Okay, and then all we're going to do is roll that over. And then I've got these little, I love these little, I found these little clips. And I found it just helps you line it up so it lines up perfectly. Pegs will do. Get your, um, your pegs. And then what I did, like I say, if you've got something to do it round, but I'm trying to show you as basic as I can so everybody can do it with as minimal product as, you know, extras as possible. Then I, what I did, I put my hand inside and just held it down. Okay. And that will stick. There we go. Right. So now there are different ways of doing this what we're going to do we're going to call a few of these in now because i'm live and i need to get this stuck i'm doing this slightly the other way around just because i, I, I want to get it finished you color in you can do before you do this part and do it on the back and then it doesn't matter if you smudge but i did mine i did mine while it was while it was gluing i just found it easy to do um and then i could see exactly where my color's going to go um so i've got uh, these are just um alcohol pens and it's just a case of going in wherever you know don't don't um stress about it we're not you don't need to do any shading or anything fancy 
um, is basically just the bits that you want to colour. You could add a bit of glitter in. You could also put a bit of glitter, then you get your sparkle. So I've just gone for a range of oranges and yellows. Um, let's see what this one is. That's a... Uh, and we're going to do a few next to each other. Let's have a look. So you get the idea. It's um, it's quite simple. Like I say, it, if when I did mine, I did do. Uh, when you can do is do them behind, uh, but it's just I wouldn't have the time because you need this time for it to stick. You can use um, if you want to stick it immediately. Of course, you could use double sided tape. My only worry is that is. I don't always get it right. I like to have a bit of wiggle. And when you use the double sided tape, you've really got one go at it. And if you go wrong, it's then you're tearing and messing. And I'm not, I'm not very good at that. So, um, so this is where you go with your colouring. Now, this is up to you where you would like. I, I didn't want any sort of um, routine with mine. I just wanted to go random. Um, I'm not going to do all of them because you can this is about showing you a technique it's not really about showing you the whole um, the whole thing and then you you make this the way that you like it so as you can see the lights will shine through we'll just do a couple more because I want you to see um, the effect I'm going to do the thin end so as you can see any alcohol um pens or anything that to be honest anything that colors on uh, vellum will work for this um okay so i've not colored it completely you know i, I don't want to teach you how to do things you already know don't there's no shade and it's just standard coloring okay then my favorite favorite little um look at these die set the bees slimline beautiful panel absolutely adore this one um i like to cut the bees out as you can see they're so cute and what i've done with these is i have so i'm getting one that i've put wings in i just cut a piece out for the back and then i cut just cut quite a few out in and stick them on on there then as you can see they're not neat or anything it, as long as you fill that space it doesn't matter and then some of them i use some of the um tim holtz inks to get shaded some of them are just yellow card i've gone for a mix really the ones i did on the original do have um some it's like an iridescent paper for the wings but i thought for this one i'm not going to do that because i thought it'd be nice for the light to shine through the wings okay now to stick the bees on uh, I'm just using a tape gun, uh, but I probably would use um, glue because I, I think sometimes the tape guns aren't always permanent. It depends which one that you're using. And then we're going to sort of you know, add your little bees wherever you want them. These bees are my absolute favourite. And you can raise the wings. Also, what, what I wanted to say to you, I picked this up from um, a cheap little card shop. It's like a film and just an iridescent film. This looks really nice um, for the wings, very effective. So, because that's the back, and I think that might have stuck now, has it? Yep, that's stuck nicely, so we'll just take that off. So, as you can see, we're starting to get somewhere now. We've got some sticky on there. So, I'm going to... Now, I would probably colour more, more in. Make a little um, colouring pattern with your, um, with your pens. But that's something for you to do at home um, and do it in the colours that suit you. I, I just like the bees. And you can go to town with this. You can have flowers, you know, just keep going with it. And what a love light for a little girl's bedroom or even for, you know, for a little boy. Uh, and, and just do it in more, you know, masculine colours. Just lift the wings. Yeah. I think we'll have a little bee just there. And then I'm going to just pull him off because I want to put my ribbon there. So, right, I'm not going to push any more because I can finish it off later. I just want to show the basic. Right, next, if, like I said, if you've not gone straight there, okay, don't worry, it's not a problem. What I've done, because we're working on an A4 sheet, everything's A4, so it makes it simple. I've just cut, stuck some pieces of ribbon onto across the a4 and then trim them down so you can then add that round the top so i am going to do this um with the tape gun 
but I probably would use something stronger and more permanent on um, and you, you'll have more time to do this uh, obviously I'm trying to fit it into uh, to half an hour for you and then that see I don't need to wiggle this that goes around just nicely and that A4 fits absolutely perfectly and then we've also got another one for the bottom I say this is just go through your stash, see what you've got, and you don't have to use ribbon for this. I mean, I've mounted it on some A4 card just for stent. Um, I'll tell you what would be lovely Lisa's papers, you know, the bright colour papers, and you can also do the honeycomb out of the papers, that would be nice as well. That's what that's what I'm saying. It, this is just to give you the basic idea. You take it, you know, to another level, um, and make it how you how you want it and if it's for that specific person the colours they like or or whatever you like so there we go so I mean how easy, how easy is that and it's already looking beautiful right another idea I haven't done with mine because I'm lifting the lights in and out what you can do is quite easily make a um oh it is a serious tape container it's a big one um get yourself a base I've got a spare coaster or um and I think what I would do what I'd want to do is glue that onto there paint this glue that onto that or a round one if you've got a round one and then i'm thinking if i can find them here we go this is another one of my favorites um of lisa's the um shabby florals these flowers are beautiful and the way that i've seen some of you using them you're just blowing us away with the samples are amazing so i'm thinking you could put all flowers around stick that there you could put all flowers around here um, I mean, these are, I haven't got, as I usually have a lot of these made up, but I've, I've been using them. So I was thinking, make your flowers up, look, and, and put flowers around the base and make it all a bit of grass and make it all really pretty. And what a beautiful gift. And what about filling it with Easter eggs for Easter? Mother's Day, uh, so many different ideas that you can do with this. So I'm just going to get the lights. And then we're going to put the lights in there so you can see the real effect. Sorry, it looks pretty ugly from the top, but it isn't, I can assure you. And what you can do, if you want to make a round circle for the top of card, you could just blue tack this there. But I would have it so you could lift out so you can change the batteries. And this hides quite nicely there. And I mean, I did blue tack mine just there to the back so you couldn't really see it or it, or it could go inside. I think there's quite nice. I'm going to turn the lights on. Uh, what I'll do, I'll blue tack it on for now, or you could take it down and hide it at the bottom somewhere. Obviously, that's up to you, but make sure you put your lights where you can replace the battery. Okay, so I like it just there. So I'm going to take the bottom away because we haven't got one for this one. And then it's a case of just play around with your lights until you're happy. Yeah, I will put the bottom on, then I can lift it, so otherwise I'm not going to lift it up. I do change my mind a lot, you will see that with me. Okay, now let's play around with these lights. Okay, so now the big reveal. Are you ready? I'm going to turn it, put it on one side for you. Now get in there, Mr. Light, that's it. My new big light, let's turn it off. Right, I'm going to stand up. So, can you see that? See how beautiful that is? It's all right going now you mess around with your lights and stick them on and um but look at that isn't that just beautiful and like i say flowers bees just because they're, they're one of my favorite add as many bees as you like color color in do lots of little flowers and patterns and you could even stick the inners into it so that so that the inner of the flower looks solid i know natasha it's just lovely isn't it and it's so simple it's just a4 you know a4 card a4 vellum and look at that and to be honest i think i'm going to put one in my bedroom for in the evening because i do like it and imagine if you've got the twinkling lights as well so they like twinkle i'm going to put my light back on now because uh don't leave you in the dark and to be honest that that is really it it's as simple as that it's such an easy project it needs more finishing because like say if you want your bottom and your top but they're they're things that you can add yourself I was thinking, um, I think I'm going to give one to my friend's little girl for Easter. I'm thinking I'm going to leave this, the lights I'm going to put on the side. Then I'm going to put the bottom on and I'm going to fill it with Easter eggs. And then when, when obviously she took the, the Easter eggs out, um, she can put, put the lights in. Also, just quick, one more idea, over a vase, this 
this if you've got a slim vase that will go nicely as a cover over in a vase then you can take it off um so it doesn't get wet so you can wash your vase so that's me done for this evening just to remind you our lovely lisa is back on our screens on the 8th of march at 10 30 and 3 p.m and then she's also back with us on the 13th on the 8th there are some amazing amazing new goodies and i know you've been seeing the sneak peeks please join lisa live on friday at 7 p.m where she's going to be showing you the new products and they are all absolutely beautiful and we've got natasha next wednesday we've got dawn on friday and lovely claire will be with you on tuesday so i want to wish you a lovely the rest of the week and weekend and all take care bye